That does make me sad though, because it's like my favorite kind of dog ever. Less oh. Lesser dogs? Oh. Don't make me punch you, Trevor. <laughs> don't make sad squeaky sounds. I forgot, there was one other game that played with metadata that I kind of forget about. It's one of those things that's like, it's so genius. The fucking Silent Hill games, like Silent Hill 2, did that. It did? Yes! You're able to get a knife from a character. And if you just routinely check on it, it helps influence one of the endings. You're able to get really? It. You know what other yes. game worked with metadata? What? The fourth Mist game. Really? Yeah, depending on how you played, uh, towards the end of the game, you would have a element assigned to you, oh. and you had oh. to collect a piece of that element to offer to the, uh, basically to a element of that, or like a, a god, to that element. So like for fire, you had to go find the little flame god and offer uh, fire to that god, etc. Depending on how you played. I think I was wind mm. when I played. Mm. Yeah, nobody cares about adventure games. I do. God damn it! You threw me off! <laughs> sorry. You threw off my groove! <laughs> I'm sorry, but you've thrown off the Emperor's groove. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> the groove! That was a great movie. It's an underrated movie. Like a Goofy movie. Goofy movie is the best underrated movie ever. Yeah. It probably would have done better, but it, it released the same year as Toy, to Toy Story. I really hate movies that... It would have had a chance, but it didn't because it was up against another movie. Yeah. Perfect. That was perfect. How many that fucking perfect. movies come out and do that? You got fucking like apparently uh, Last Starfighter didn't do good. Really? Because it was in Star Wars. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Iron Giant didn't do too well because something else was in the same year as that. Yeah. Fucking uh. Uh, Batman, Phantasm. That was paired up against some other movie that was just sucking viewers away. That sucks. And it, it really sucks because, I mean, the movies, technically, they're not that expensive, you know, back then, yeah. really. But still, people were like, they had to commit a certain time for it. And they weren't able to just go out and see every single going? movie that yeah. came out. I just need to stand up because the chair's hurting my butt. Let's turn the music all the way up. You're so cool! Well, yeah, he's got the Roy glasses. <laughs> no, that's the Squirtle Squad glasses. You knocked off his glasses! Well, no, they're not. They were either round shades or triangle shades. Yep. Those were the, uh, like, old lady shades. <laughs> the cat eye glasses, but with shades. Yes. Although they did bring that back in one of the Pokemon series. Like the <laughs> Pokemon XY, I believe. The Squirtle Squad? No, it had a, a panda that wore those kind of glasses. Oh. Panda Tough Guy. Panda Tough Guy. Yes. Death to all! <laughs> None shall live! Forgot what we were talking about. We weren't really talking about oh, it. Movies was that it. were was underrated? I guess so, yeah. I guess it's a good topic to talk over stuff like this. Otherwise, I'll just cut it out and speed it up. And now we don't talk. <laughs> It's the only dead time. No bedtime, only dead time. Yes. At least it does look like the hitbox is slightly smaller than the heart shape. Cause like, sometimes the edges of the heart will graze the white and it won't count. Yeah. So thank God for that. Ugh. I think at some point we should totally get Lisa and do this too, where you do one playthrough and then Jess does another. Lisa? Yes, it's another one of those uh, 
Earthbound like RPGs. That oh, that game. It's kind of fucked up. Yeah, I had a friend who's been playing it. He said he had a lot of good stuff to say about it. Yeah, while this one is like sad feels and whimsical, that one is a little more down to earth and like emotionally fucked up. Okay. That sounds like a fun time. Oh yeah, well it's it's kind of fitting the holy trilogy of games that were done by a small group of people and turned out really good, but is kind of a fuck up in your head. I mean you What's had the third one. Well the the first one I would consider would be off by that one French dude. Off? Made it Yes. I don't even know what that is. It's a very weird, weird game. It's you basically start off as this spirit that's being summoned to cleanse the evil, and you are known as the batter. As in like cake batter or baseball batter? As in baseball batter. Okay. And your weapon is, is a bat. <laughs> oh, okay. And as you go around, you just start slaughtering uh, boss monsters that are named after, uh, like... Nice. Uh, Holy shit. I, I, I don't know Christian mythologies. Uh, like... One of Christianity's them's, not a myth. Whatever. Like, one of them is named <laughs> Enoch. I'm, I yeah. know, I've heard that name, but I don't know what that is. I, I don't know if it's like a lesser angel or greater seraph or what the fuck ever that chart is, but... Yeah, you basically just go through these fucked up worlds, learn about the lore, like the elements. Since this world is really fucked up, it's like plastic, metal, meat, and smoke, I believe. Weird. And then you eventually figure out that there's a fifth element that's sugar. A fifth element? Yes. And it does one of those things where it's like, the playthrough is pretty much all the same, but you get more story if you go back through other areas and explore areas you've been to before when you've cleaned them out. And uh, like one simple action will allow you to learn the truth of the game. And it comes down to like, you can figure out who the real enemy of the game is and then initiate the final boss fight and change the story. Hmm. This one's kind of like the same thing, but a lot more lighthearted. More memes. More memes? Yes. Two left. Two. Yeah, and then you got Lisa, which... Another fucked up story. Very wonderful. Wonderfully written. There's nothing wrong with a story that's fucked up as long as it's good. That's true. You don't want to play a game that's like, Oh man, this story's fucked up! And you're sitting at it and it's like... This was a rejected script from, like, you know... Saw 9 or something. <laughs> See? Black Mirror. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We need to do that sometime soon. <laughs> yeah, that is on my list of games that are so bad I have to do them. <laughs> And it's and so it, bad. And at least it's one you've played through multiple times, so you. you yeah, can why have I played that game like eight times? May, may, and well, I hate it. I th I thought like, at least the last couple of times is because like you keep hearing stuff about people who play adventure games love the game for some reason. Yeah, people really love so the Black Mirror game, you, and it's so shitty. So you go back to play it to be like, what am I missing? Why yeah. do people like this? Yeah, the last time you played it was a show me. Your love increased, and you had a little fun with it because. Uh, you got to One make fun left. of the, the child opposition <laughs> with the candy. I don't uh, want to say too much here because we're going to be doing it for people. Okay. Yeah, don't spoil it. Right, and then there was the medication. I love what you did with the medication. Yeah. But, but there was just certain things that weren't really answered. The game was shit. It has a crapshoot in a couple areas and it's just, I don't fucking get it. It's like... It's like that in Monkey Island 2. You just don't get why people <laughs> are saying they're oh. the best. We should play all the Monkey Island games. Start with the first one, play the second one, the third one, find the fourth one on PS2, and, yep. then, and then get all the tales of. Yep. I have all everything. We should, we should do that. We should have an epic Monkey Island series. Hey Trevor, would you want me to do them or do you want to do them? I don't know. You've and played like a I lot said, of them so much that like you, you would probably get through them. Yeah, at least number three, I would be able just to breeze through. Number one, I'd do pretty get good X. I've played I've, it a few times. I've watched you do number one on the Xbox. Yeah. Oh, that's 
would we do the Xbox version with the full voice acting and everything, or would we go back and like try and do the classic? classic I one? I think we would have to do with the voice acting. It'd be more interesting. Plus, they Probably. did a great job with the that, voice actor yeah, being the voice actors. Because they actually got the the real cast yeah. from the games that got voice acting and got them to do the voice acting for that one. Could you imagine if they had a game go back and retroactively get voice work that was already Come established? Come at me! Canon? That'd be awesome. Yeah, remember when they almost did that with Sonic Generations? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's the, the only reason why Classic Sonic is mute in Sonic Generations is because, um, like, uh, shit, Jaleel White was busy with something else, so he couldn't, he didn't have time to do the voices, because they actually wanted to get Jaleel White to do Retro Sonic. In Sonic Generations, oh, but then they just went so with good. they just went with him being mute because he never actually spoke in any of the games. So yeah, but then they left, have the right? younger versions talk like Young Tales. Oh yeah. Why the fuck was he allowed to talk? That's a good point. I don't think about that. They, they should have had Young Tales mute. And then new gen tales be like, man, I didn't talk much when I was younger, <laughs> you know, just a. Was it one of those Sonic Shorts things that were on Newgrounds? And one of the clips was. Uh, like Tails is trying to lower Sonic into one of the water levels. I think it's like the Sonic 3 water level because when you burst in, like Tails is kind of floating you down. Yeah. But then, like, uh, it's the kind of ch chubby looking Sonic from the Genesis ones, and Tails is like, Sonic, you think you can stand to lose a little weight? <laughs> what? And look like new gen Sonic? <laughs> Actually, you know what you remind me of is uh, Reboot whenever uh, old Enzo meets the younger <laughs> old yes! Enzo. Oh, uh, I gotta go back through and watch that show. Alpha again. Numeric! <laughs> that show was great. Oh, I fucking love. Speaking of reboot. Yes. They're gonna, yes. They're I'm, gonna reboot, reboot. Yeah. I'm still, still on the <laughs> fence with that. I'm still mixed feelings. Because on the one hand, it's still gonna oh. be done by mainframe. Yeah. And they know their shit. I mean, they they made that shit. So, of course, doing yeah. a remake of it in their hands, well, it's gonna be just as good. Yeah. However, I fear for them updating the technology because yeah, not well, only we're afraid that memes are gonna happen. And... <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have fun. If I see a grumpy cat anywhere on that fucking show, I'm fucking. That show is dead to me. <laughs> I'll be like, no. You know what? This is all a fever dream. What happened was a virus is infected somebody. Just blame Hexodus. And and th this whole thing is just a fever dream of them as they're decompiling. You know, I have to admit, I will accept Grumpy Cat, but if I saw, if I see a Pepe, or yeah. however the fuck you want to say that fucking frog. Yeah, it would have to be a rare meme. sighting. Any, any stupid meme. But nobody came. There we go, I just wanted the music. Yeah. Oh. You just wanted the music. Oh, I didn't realize the music gets worse when that happens. I want to look my Sunday best, or at least my Tuesday pretty good. <laughs> Until I have one outfit. <laughs> yeah. I can style my hair. Why don't you look over there? I love how the game tries to snap you out of it with their theme. Yeah. <laughs> Sans, I'm dizzy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Behold! <laughs> it's a rock! Oh my god! I have no idea what that is. By process of elimination, that means it's a human! <laughs> Does that mean, like, process of elimination? Anything that's not a rock is human. Is human. According to sand or shit, papyrus. Or everything in the world is a rock, <laughs> yeah. except for humans. What about this tree? That's a rock. That's <laughs> no. What? No, that's no. That's what he said. Process of elimination. The thing that wasn't a rock had to be a human. To human. That's too much of a radical thing. That only works when the characters that's established. Papyrus. No, that only works. It's fucking catty. Shut up. Uh, uh. What? Exactly. You don't even remember. Is your refrigerator running? Oh! Oh, it's a new flavor test! Oh, I never got this. No. Okay. I'll send some over to fix it. Thanks for letting me know. Good communication is important. <laughs> yeah! Wait, how did Sans get your number? It is a mystery! <laughs> but nobody came. <laughs> 
It's narration on this card player. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this? You ponder. I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a royal. Very famous royal guardsman. Good job, Trevor. Yeah. Oh yeah, it has a, yeah. This is why voice, act voice actors get multiple takes. Absolutely no moving. Who are you? 